Ooh, Phoenix Online Studios. Welcome back to Let's Play Cognition. This is episode three, The Oracle. And we're very excited to be here. Yeah. Uh, I, I can almost not contain my excitement. It, it is pretty thrilling. Basically, if I had have had another coffee, and I'd Previously just be all over the place. Excuse me. I don't mean to be rude, but you took the flowers from my brother's grave. I'm so... Uh... <laughs> don't sweat it. I couldn't help but overhear what you were saying. You lost your brother too? Because I'm creepy and I listen Every to people. Every case you've worked on, you've hoped it had something to do with Scott's killer. <laughs> He's been quiet for three years. Uh, Maybe the guy died, who knows? I think this plot is even dumber in recap About than when it, what it was the first the time. managed some properties in the city. So now it's what I do. Hmm, sounds like good work. Not quite as interesting as being an FBI agent. The way she said that just that sounded like she was hitting on her. Yeah, that is definitely flirting. Uh, what the hell is going on? I can't control my vision. Anthony Longmore was a killer, and he's been doing it for years, until someone stopped him last night. I wonder if the twist is that, um, the same way that he they're not victims, visions, she's just suffering from PTSD. <laughs> <laughs> this is how she sort of deals with it all, and everyone's so afraid of her that they just keep letting her come Special to work. Agent Reed. How the hell is <laughs> Even though is people keep dying? <laughs> well, maybe she's in a mental institute, just and good Special <laughs> Agent <laughs> Reed is actually, Davies, you know, I was too late a to code name for someone. Them. I know what it's like to lose someone <laughs> close to you, Erica. Joey I hope Rose you. isn't actually the He's psychiatrist, the because she is terrible at it. <laughs> No, it's gotta be someone these, innocuous. These belong to go falls. What the hell? Jared! What is going on? Who's doing this? And how do they know about me? Well, they've met you. Holy shit. Recently, I felt unsafe at my apartment. I started noticing a man hanging around. I, I can't check it out myself right now. But I can get a car over there at least. Someone to keep an eye on things until I can get there myself. Alright, so that's where we're up to. I'm confused. Well, oh, Jared's in the hospital. Cause cool. He's got his ear cut off. And his eyes, by the look at it. One eye, I think. We still had one. Huh. Erica. Erica? Dad. I'm so sorry, kiddo. You've been here all night, huh? Are you hungry? Uh, probably. And I still feel like throwing up. That's probably because you're hungry. Swear, everything's changing. Mm. You would have never have seen this happen 30 years ago. Well, it's happening now. It did happen 30 years ago. These sort of things happen all the time. Glad you could make it. People are basically I... terrible most of the time. No, no, I'm pretty sure John, violence is a modern phenomenon. Right now. I want you to know I'll be out of touch for a day or so. Don't go starting any search parties for me. Just look after Sully. How's he doing? Oh, he's hanging in there. Where are you Is going? It? Just checking up on some old. Let's see, uh, donut eating cup, right? Anton Towers. Yes. Stay by Sully. Why is he Make using sure a Bluetooth he headset? And I'll see you soon. John. He doesn't seem to approve of computers. Did you say the Anton Towers? Yeah, it yeah, does seem a little out of character. There. Now something's going on. Erica. He's the murderer. Bad history. There was a murder a few years back. Nasty stuff. A brother and sister. What were their names? Oh, that'll fit right in. Were they killed by the cane killer, perhaps? Dad, I wish I could stay in chat. <laughs> oh, perhaps it'd be nice if we had some sort of database where you could look <laughs> up things and, uh, you oh, know. Oh, yes. For that, we'd have to be some kind of law enforcement officer. Yeah. And it's almost like they need to invent this giant system where computers are all interconnected. Find out a few things on the drive also, in case you missed it, the, the sister was Cordelia, the cemetery the girl. Dun, dun, dun. Wait, wasn't she dead? Didn't they say brother and sister were killed? I came to yeah, he did say that, but clearly he's wrong, because she's not dead. Or is she? And for some reason, the hint system now changes from Erica's father to Rose. Don't know why. Duffer again. His overtime pay must be through the roof. 
He still has the best name. <laughs> hey, you there. Gotta clear off. Duffer? That's Officer Agent Reed. Ah, oh, Christ. Listen, I'm gonna and have apparently to leave the premises. Terrible vision just, problem as we're well. We're trying to clear people out, not attract them. Yeah, I would have thought that everyone would see what her happened? coming from a long way I was on a stakeout here in that patrol car, leave. and a body came down on it. Nobody's Especially really since he met her like two days ago, and she phoned him yesterday I wish I could for help something. With the investigation, but right now, that's not why I'm here. Wait, so the body fell on the car, from the which he was in. That's fast. And yeah, in training they told guard. us it should take a lot longer. Yeah. But Agent McAdams You'd think had he might everyone be going to like, All the know, evidence was put together and moved. Debriefing or counseling or something. Well put together yeah. and moved. Maybe that's why he couldn't see her coming. I don't get it. <laughs> he's he actually got a concussion. Is he trying any chance of a decent <laughs> investigation? I don't know what he's up to, Agent. I'm just here doing what I'm told. The why are you plot here? isn't particularly it looks subtle like you're in some for some ways, coffee. is it? Yeah, except I'm trying to stop here. Yeah, this is what you're meant Since to I was think. unharmed and already on the yeah. scene, they kept me here except to help out. They're Seriously? trying to make yeah, so no many people deal. suspicious I know I'm the that new it's guy, like, okay well, okay, they're obviously now. not all in so, on it, so it doesn't really sunrise. mean anything. Yeah. I think you had so need to have like one or two this, key possibilities. A detective from the station yeah. named Ollie Robinson came in, but then Agent McAdams came in shortly after and everything took a turn. A turn to what? To whatever it is you see now. Hmm. I turned to shit. I only then. see stars because I have a concussion. So then what happened <laughs> to all the evidence? It's all been pulled together and locked up. That's unusual. A scene yes, this fresh should be this quiet. Yeah, there's some real redundant I'm look dialogue some here. More. Sure. Oh, now we get to use our psychotic powers. You're doing a great job, Dunlop. <laughs> so weird. <laughs> I'm glad to write, see the coffee rates are mentioned. Uh, yeah, that's important. Nothing exceptional. All cops love coffee. Standard stakeout. Pretty boring, actually. Ugh, gross. He likes his coffee very sweet. Erica just cannot stop judging people. <laughs> Jeez. Yeah. Uh, Duffer is holding up pretty well considering what he went through. Ah, Duffer. You shouldn't be seeing this sort of shit before getting your first paycheck. What? What? <laughs> I think he's probably been paid if he's actually, a, you know, on active duty. Yeah. I... Like, he must have gone through training and stuff. <laughs> yeah. Huh, weird. I just remembered seeing something else from before. When the body hit the car, something else was falling. A piece of metal or plastic. We should search- Just stay here. I'll go look. That body must have been flung with quite a lot of strength to hit the car that's all the way over there. Oh, well, you do a hammer throw. <laughs> I know I saw that you knife some rope here. to the arm and I'll some have rope to ask to the leg. It. They must have found the knife and taken it <laughs> Just swinging around Pretty like a child. <laughs> I don't think you meant to throw children. Well, no, you don't let go if you're swinging a child around. And they're all red. Except for a Especially if you're not, not if you're on a roof. Huh. Looks like it's been picked or cut or something. And then put back precisely where it was before. After being allowed to die after. Well, roses take about a week to I'm die. I'm surprised a team of butlers hasn't descended and spit-shined this whole place back to its normal property value. <laughs> That's pretty a car judgy. With one big busted eye. I know it, all over the street, it would be huh? nice if there was something that Erica wasn't all cynical and not judgmental about. Body, Just yeah. anything at all. Scoop. How dare people not want to have blood all over the front of the driveway? <laughs> uh, brutal. This is where Joey met his end. He must have fallen from pretty high up. Yeah, Since probably the people the working this scene don't seem to give a shit about it. I'll need to determine where he fell from and go do some looking around on my own. Yes, everything must be done by you, Erica. Everyone else is incompetent. <laughs> do, do you think they just couldn't afford to animate other actors? <laughs> oh, I will just say that everyone's really shit. What is that? Can 
Holy shit, what happened here? A guy got thrown off the roof! <laughs> yeah. I think that's pretty clear. Also, that is the most lucky landing for that keychain fob thing. <laughs> Still embedded in the door. I've dropped my glasses I wonder if I can just on the floor, which is clear, and I couldn't gather. find them for like five minutes. Well, that's because you they're There's your glasses. You need them to this. see. We're it's talking about you know, a square meter of empty floor here. <laughs> I've never seen a black flower before. Looking at the stem, it appears to have been cut. She's making a big deal about it's that. It's a very modern security key. Fully equipped crime scene van. I met Sully in one of those. <laughs> Is that a euphemism for something? <laughs> That's what I was wondering. Locked up tight. Use the key fob. Oh, please don't tell me that. Those word. two don't work together. No. <laughs> Shoot it! Shoot the lock! You know. You would think, as an FBI agent, she'd probably have a key for that. Uh, I would expect they I all have separate I doubt this will get keys. much use once people here learn that bodies have been falling. If they learn about it. I know, it might be convenient to be just, like, any agent can get into any, you know, car or van or whatever. Mm. And vehicle keys tend to be, like, um, fairly repetitive patterns, I think. Yeah, like there's not a lot of variety to it. Um, vehicle keys are fairly for it. So the body a fair fell. Bit of variety, more than Where did it fall from? The roof? Something like that. I think I was still kind of in shock when that was being discussed. You didn't You're notice anything also going on the up there car. on the stakeout? I thought I saw something up there, but Officer Collins said it was probably nothing, and that we were just supposed to watch the ground floor. Hey, Duffer, a huge favor to ask. Sure thing. There should be a knife in evidence, and I need to see it. It might be key to finally getting a real investigation started here. Damn. Yeah, that sounds important. Here, the evidence is still in the van. Thanks. You're a good cop, Duffer. No, he's not! He shouldn't have given you that! I'm gonna look around some more. <laughs> sure. I also saw her pick up, you know, stuff out of the garden and this crime scene, so... Maybe she just thinks he's a good cop because that's what she would do, and she's terrible. My part they can of only collect evidence that is that size. <laughs> and they haven't put it in a bag or anything, it's just sitting they only there. Managed to get one thing? What a sad, sad crime scene this is. Well, there's the body. Essential at any crime scene worth its salt. Maybe I'll do some redecorating. <laughs> and just steal I some could shit go the rest the of van. my life not seeing another one of these, and I'd be just fine with that. Well, maybe you shouldn't be a police officer then. That, cones. that body bag commanding. is quite small. Hell, there are a few agents I know who aren't as persuasive I, as I these haven't chopped up many bodies. I think it's folded up. I don't up. need the whole stack, but I will take one. Did she just take a witch? Yep. Is she planning to get drunk tonight? This is the rear control for the famous <laughs> You're supposed to get lights. drunk, then steal one, not the other way around. No, I can't just go messing with things. <laughs> I need to get up to speed on this oh my investigation. God. You, I can't just go messing with things, says Erica Reed. Finger what? <laughs> a pretty essential bit of equipment. God, no. I can't pull prints to save my life. Or anyone else's. <laughs> A rare instance of the game acknowledging that forensics experts actually exist and have a job that can't be done by anyone else. They give the unmistakable impression that they're protecting something. People living inside? Some sort of security panel. It must be used for opening the doors here. <laughs> oh! <laughs> That's Boston's why finest. she's a detective. <laughs> oh shit, it's McAdams. Agent Reed! 
What are you doing here? An investigation, remember? When I was taken off of Davies and put on the wise monkey case? No. There's no case here anymore. It's all... The investigation's been moved. We combed the site, then transferred the evidence. You can't do that. The integrity of the... We followed all the necessary protocol, Agent Reed, and evidence is being handled by the local police. Now, I don't want to hear another word suggesting otherwise. Your well, integrity in such matters is notable. You would think so. I saw the flashing lights from my room earlier and grew a little concerned that I would have to come down and have a little talk with you. Good to see that wasn't necessary. <laughs> Did that man just praise you with integrity for obstructing the thorough investigation of a murder? If you understood anything beyond your own little vendettas, you might be holding on to more than the FBI's bottom rung. Someone is dead. In fact, a lot of people are. Yeah. The guy you were seeking for serial murder? What are you, pissed you couldn't get him a federally appointed death? A killer is gone. So we now just make sure our shit doesn't stink as we carefully move it from somewhere it doesn't belong. Huh? Who was that? that doesn't even make Someone any sense. who has a lot of power. Yeah, I think he's just Dickon admitting Hill. to Everyone covering it up because like, all you they need to know. are really bad at catching serial killers. And he can just... Have them turned off. Yes. I need to get inside. You're not hearing me, Agent Reed. There will be no further investigation inside the towers. Did your men even go up there? Of course we did. And we found nothing. So leave it alone. Was John here earlier? John McCoy? Briefly. But now the Actually, whole case he's is reminding me of Commissioner Gordon now. Like, he knows but, there's no, a vigilante out there here. taking out serial killers. And he's just perimeter. like, yep, we're not going after the vigilante. There's the Nagas I know and love. I don't care who was killed. Someone still did this. Once I get a sense of what went uh, on here, I'm going to talk with him and find out why say, her boss he's is a bit like this. Because yeah. anyone like that, you go, well, I'm just going to stay here for the next 15 minutes till I see you leave. <laughs> yeah. Agent Reed, I can see you. But I hope you're not thinking of doing something you'll regret. Now step away from that door. If I'm going to get inside, I'll need to do it when McAdams isn't being so vigilant. That's right. Now this is a really bad puzzle. <laughs> How do we distract McAdam? I need to figure out exactly where Joey fell from. <laughs> yes, because with all these tall buildings around, it's very hard to tell. <laughs> and that vision she had showing him falling. Yeah. Knife cut the flower, and they were both dropped from the garden balcony just below the roof. That was where Joey fell from. Case closed. <laughs> I now I my know case. where Joey fell from. And all I need to do is get my ass up there. Probably the rest of your body would be useful as well. If I'm going to get inside, I'll need to do it when McAdams isn't being so vigilant. I thought solving that last bit might have made him go away, but it didn't. They're getting unmistakable imp oh, They're locked. This isn't <laughs> like my place where you can just knock and someone will let you in. Yeah, this place has standards. She seems to be, like, personally offended that this place has decent security. Well, when you live in a shoebox in the middle of the road. Oh, uh, let me guess, you go and turn on the lights and then... Mac Adams goes out, oh my god, how'd that happen? <laughs>
Agent Reed, <laughs> this is a low-profile scene. Get those lights off now! <laughs> I just love and Erica being told to stop doing dumb shit. <laughs> and that's what they call making a scene. Two bad old Ironsides there is so against it. Why didn't she just turn off the light, turn on the lights, and then walk away? And... <laughs> That's the right idea, but there isn't anything for me to suspend it from. Because first she's got to set up a crime scene for some reason. Those two don't work together. What is the bit that you've got? The crime scene tape. Oh, ah, yes. But in fact, what you need to do is put out this one cone first. <laughs> Well, it doesn't exactly look like the scene is buzzing with activity, but it's halfway to at least having a pulse. I don't think you should make jokes about pulses when someone has died. <laughs> Alright, I've got enough here oh, yeah, to make it look like be bothered animating scene. that. Yeah. Now I just need some attention. Budget ran out. That is just a terrible job of fencing off that crime this scene. This evidence. I shouldn't walk off with it. Time what? to start the shit show. <laughs> oh, the first time she's ever cared about walking off with evidence. What? <laughs> Lights off. Lights off. What is going on here? Agent Reed, if this is your doing, it is completely unacceptable. <laughs> yes. Here comes that man again. <laughs> It's Hooray! Like that man is here. On her hands. The dapper oh, man. No, she's being taken care of. I wasn't referring to her. We're discussing you. <laughs> yeah, because it always works well for my career when I just drop my boss in a whole pile of shit. Yep. <laughs> this is totally unacceptable. Y yes. Well. There's a lot of loose ends to manage. All right, the doors are unlocked. Let's go put the legs back on this case. Um, what? Yeah, that's an odd turn of phrase. Maybe I didn't make... Okay, I'm in. Oh no, I've got a migraine. And here we are. Doing things. Yeah, it's this vision we've seen like four times already. Of... Wow. I'm, uh, I must be blocking out a lot of this. Because I don't remember this at all. I've seen that bit. Yeah. I remember that bit. I think we get a little bit more of it each time we see it. No, no, no. Not that again. Ooh, there's a video camera. <laughs> yeah, you'd think the police might find that useful. It looks useful. like more of a museum piece than apartment art. <laughs> oh well, at least it's better than paintings of flowers and bolts. What is apartment art? No, I want to go do what I came here for. <laughs> no fuss, no muss. Uh, no time to steal paintings. <laughs> On the Anthon job. Towers. Do that later. Your security is our obsession. <laughs> she just cannot stop mocking people and things. Why yeah, do I'm... rich people like their plants clipped into geometric shapes? Is it a power thing? No, it's just awesome. Another one of these pads. They don't mess around. They like their security here. It doesn't read fingerprints. <laughs> well, that's good. It probably Almost. reads the key fobs. Or, see, there's a pin number. Ah, you're the woman from outside. Only now you're inside. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> yeah, that Fed was starting to piss me off. Indeed. You talk to him as though you knew him. Nah, that's just how I deal with assholes. If you've met one, you've met them all. 
one of my jobs is to look after this place and ensure a frictionless living environment for all the residents here. I just thought I'd let you know. Uh-huh. Well, that'll be useful to know if we ever talk again. Quite right, Ms. Reed. Quite right. <laughs> Wait, how do you... <laughs> if only there was a way to stop lift doors from closing. Oh door! Oh door! Right, so another creepy person who's probably... What's this? Who it cares? looks like Terrence sent me something. Dossier? It looks like something got installed on my phone. <laughs> Terrence just hacked her phone. <laughs> And so this means we never have to go back to the uh, FBI station again. So that's nice. It only took them two episodes to realize that it was kind of annoying. But everyone loves going back to the giant room. <laughs> the giant room? All the rooms are giant. Like, I think this is a hallway and it's like bigger than my flat. Uh, it's certainly bigger than my first apartment. Yep, that was worth worth reading. It's just a branch, but there's something about it I don't like. Something kind of sinister. <laughs> well, the fact that its shadow doesn't quite match its um, shape. <laughs> well, that could be because there's like. Eight Looks lights like a in this third? room. Empty. A fun game. Of it looks ornamental. Check the hot spots. Yeah. Maybe it's one of those singing bowls. What the hell's a singing bowl? I have no idea. Maybe it's like those ones from Futurama where the um, trisolians get in the glass and they <laughs> rub the rim of it. Like you do with a wine glass, yes. <laughs> this is it. The same balcony I saw in that vision. The killer had Joey up here. Just as well, only one person likes plants. <laughs> it's... It's John's. So he made it up here. That lighter that he never but lets out of his sight, he, he just left it here. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Yeah, what do you want? I am looking. Scouring this place. There, there's nothing here to find. Yeah, I know Jeff Therian. Well, I haven't found a damn thing in this place on Jeff Therian. Are you sure it's not a bogus lead? All right, fine. I'll keep looking. Gah! <laughs> Getting too old for this shit. For what? He just... He was just... Saw a shadow. Did someone get to him? Yeah, I was no. behind him. And why He's did he throw not. his lighter on the table? I'm not table? losing anyone else. Yep, that is a mystery. I think this lighter is coming with me. I think just so Erica can have it again. I don't know what it is. I don't do plants. Yes, that's This must have been across. where that black flower came from. Yep, there's the cut stem. Mystery solved. There's blood on the table. It's coming from under the flower pot. Well, it's under the flower pot. There's blood under yeah. this. So it was set here after. <laughs> Please. Please. At least now he... What? Yeah, for some reason you go shoot that guy. Who is that guy? I don't know. Did you kill your brother, Miss Smith? Important dialogue yes. choice. <laughs> I'm thankful they yes, involved my interaction. I, did. I was right about you. Clever and persistent. I knew you'd make it here. I've been waiting for you to show up. Years. And here you are, just like the visions showed. 
You're more connected than you think. And if you're a better investigator than some of your co-workers, <laughs> you find out how far that connection goes. Maybe you can still save John, but it's too late for Joey here. He knows what's coming to him and why. Right, Joey? <laughs> what's happening to me? I can't make the vision stop. I need to get out of this now. Please, Erica. Don't disappoint me. Dun dun dun. Uh, I gotta say, I do like one thing about this. Yeah, go on. The way that you've got one psychic who sees the past and one psychic who sees the future, so they can sort of send messages back and forth through time to each other. That's mm. quite a neat idea. Yeah, that's interesting. It's unfortunate that the rest is just terrible. Well, <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> but, yeah, it does give you a reason to say, okay, episode three, I do kind of want to see where this is going now. Because, obviously, revealing that Cordelia was a murderer is like, yeah, okay, whatever. But, uh... Yeah. Yay, they finally picked someone. But the, you know, the psychics going back and forth through time thing, that is actually quite an interesting idea, and I am curious to see where they go with it. I suspect it's going to be nowhere good. <laughs> well, probably. <laughs> but you got to give them credit where it's due. It's not due often, but when it is... <laughs> yeah, okay, alright. We'll give them a small bit of credit. 